What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great tech news day for you, as well as some questions, so let's dive into the tech news. First, our first story of the day is a comparison spec-wise of the S22 Ultra versus the Xiaomi 12 Ultra, and then we'll decide which one is the better overall phone, just based off specs alone, so let's do this. So here we go. This is a tweet that was put up by Anthony the Galox, showing off different specs of these phones. So first of all, the processor, the Xiaomi 12 Ultra will have a slightly newer processor, more powerful, more efficient with that 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Processor. Cameras, Samsung has a higher main camera at 108 megapixels versus Xiaomi's 50 megapixel, but then Xiaomi comes in with higher telephoto and ultra wide cameras at 48 megapixels, but megapixels don't always tell the story, so we'd have to see samples of both of these phones. The display is 6.8 inch WQHD 120 hertz versus 6.73 WQHD plus 120 hertz. I, li I myself like a, like a bigger display, so I'd probably end up choosing the Samsung. Uh, 5,000 milliamp battery versus 4860 60 milliamp battery, so Samsung comes up on top a little bit more with the battery size, and don't even forget, they have the S Pen insertion too, so it's pretty crazy. 45 watt charging wired versus 67 watts, so Xiaomi's coming out on top of that a little bit. And then the brightness of both displays, 1750 versus 1500, so Samsung comes out on top a little bit, but both are extremely bright. IP68 dust and water resistance for both. Samsung has an S Pen, whereas the Xiaomi one does not. Uh, so if you're an S Pen fan, you definitely want to get the Samsung. Samsung one, both can do 8K video, both can do 4K video recording on the back and front as well, versus uh, full HD video recording on the front for only the uh, Xiaomi phone, so the Samsung comes out on top of that with the video recording on the front. 40 megapixel selfie versus 32 megapixel selfie. RAM, 8 and 12 gigabytes of RAM respectively. Storage sizes, you can get 128 all the way up to one terabyte for Samsung, and on the Xiaomi site, 256 or 512. So if you need that full one terabyte, you're gonna wanna go with the Samsung side. And for pricing, you're looking at $1449 in China or $899 for the Xiaomi globally. $1199 uh, versus we don't fully know what the Xiaomi prices will be. Samsung updates will be four years and five years of security updates, whereas Xiaomi only gets three years and four years. So just again, on a spec kind of level, it kind of goes back and forth in certain categories, but I'd probably, again, just spec level, it doesn't mean it's a better phone, but spec, I'd probably give it to Samsung for the reasons of, um, you know, you're getting more updates, so if you keep your phone a long time, you're probably gonna wanna get more updates. Also, the fact, I, I like a 4K video camera on the front, I do a lot of video recording on that front camera, so I'd want that as well. Why wouldn't you? Um, it's slightly brighter on the Samsung, it's got a bigger battery, it's got a slightly bigger display, it's got a higher megapixel main camera, it's got a, and then the other stuff is kind of marginal at that, so I personally spec-wise would give it to Samsung, but I can see Xiaomi taking a lot of the categories as well, so I can see someone picking that. Next up is about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4, just a little bit of reassurance and reconfirmation for this, and this tweet comes from Yogesh Brar, who's saying it's good that despite all upgrades on the upcoming Galaxy Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Fold 4, Samsung is not considering to jack up the price. Launch is fixed for early August, might clash with another phone launch, teasers dropping soon. So I guess the main takeaway from that was well, two main takeaways. Well, one is that they have fixed the launch. It was locked in for that August date, and we've heard about that. But then the other part of it is that they're not going to push up the prices, even though we're getting some you know, pretty big improvements, on, at least on the Fold 4 side, uh, and they're not going to push the price up. So I, I still think they're going to drop it by 100 bucks on both of these phones. But when we find out that, out that information, to be sure, I will let you guys no, your question of the day is, what do you think the Fold 4 and Flip 4 need to come out price-wise to be competitive for more people to want it? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that boom. First question from Juan Ho says, Read the article for Sam Mobile that is saying that the Exynos 2300 is in works and it will likely power the S23 series. We will have to see at the end of what happens. The Snapdragon is good, but heat issue is the problem. I live in Korea. Normally, we get Snapdragon chips too, but there is say, they are saying that Samsung will put in MediaTek chips instead of Snapdragon because heat issue that Snapdragon has. What do you 
think about this. I, I, I've heard great things about the MediaTek, uh, especially their Dimensity, their higher end chips being super great performance. I'd be totally down for it. I'm open for anything that performs well. I personally haven't run into any heating issues when my phone's overheated with Samsung phones. Um, I have with Pixel phones, I did with the Sony phone, but I haven't really with any other phones. So either way, I'd be cool. And that was all your questions, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.